YouTube, that one eighty two here, back again uh, once again. And today, we're say we're back for episode number twenty eight, if I'm not mistaken, of our Pokemon Storm of Silver Egglock here on the channel. And yes, I know today's episode is a day late and a dollar short. Uh, a lot of you guys know that Mo and Luke are in town, Twitch staying over at the house as well. So just the schedule's gotten kind of sort of wonky and it's moved around and whatnot. And my birthday is tomorrow. Fun fact: that's why everybody's in town and whatnot. We're celebrating. Um, but, I'm here, I'm ready to give you guys some Storm Silver. Unfortunately, however, we did not hit our light goal this week on Monday or Wednesday's episode, which is the first time in the entire series, which to be honest with you guys, going 25 plus episodes without missing a light goal is thoroughly incredible in my opinion. So thank you guys so, so much for your support. We can try again next week, of course. So today's episode will not be an hour of power. And I swear, Scout's Honor, I'm not lying. The numbers don't lie either, you can go back and check. Uh, but our goal was 7,000 likes on Monday, Wednesday's episode, and it just didn't happen, but that's okay. We're not going to let that discourage us. We're still going to hatch our eggs today. Today's episode will most likely be just egg hatching. Um, but most of you guys have already said, you let me know in the past, that you want to see the eggs hatched on screen. You don't want me to hatch eggs off screen and do a whole bunch of other stuff. Some of you guys, of course, are okay with eggs being hatched off screen, but uh, I don't know. I, well, basically, today's episode is going to be very, very integral. Uh, because after this, we head through Victory Road and go to the Elite Four. Like, we're pretty much done with Jota. We're halfway through the game. So today's episode is going to pretty much determine what our final party going into Elite Four will be. Is that intimidating or not? <laughs> Anyways, if you guys are hyped for today's episode of Storm Silver, and of course if you're proud of the Happy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Now, Let's go ahead and get a quick team recap because this will help us again adjust and figure out what we need to do or who we want to swap out, etc. 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 We have Banana, the newest MVP on the team, who completely just destroyed Claire and her gym on her own. So 55 holding the leftovers with Dragon Breath, Toxic, Ice Beam, and Surf. Then we have Fang, our Salamence, who's rocking Intimidate with Life War because he wants to hit as hard as he possibly can with Flies and Headbutt Crunch and Dragon Dance. Then we have Kitsune, our Ninetales, who is bulky as fuck and hits hard as a motherfucker with Drought, powering up that Flamethrower, also rocking Leftovers with Extra Gentry, Solar Beam, and will -Wisp as well. And then we have Church, if you a scam motherfucker, go to Church! Who's level 50, holding the Choice Band with pure power with Rocket High Jump Kick, Cycle Cut, Blood Punch, Ice Punch. Another new member to the team, Hungry, our Snorlax, who is actually offensive. He's not built too defensively, so he's not going to take uh, too many hits himself. He can get up with some special hits, but uh, he's, he's all offense at this point. But he's holding leftovers because that's the most notable item for a guy named Snorlax. With Body Slam, Strength, Crunch, and Lick. If we had Earthquake, I would teach it to him. That would be his last move. That would be a perfect move set. But we're just waiting for it to happen, goddammit. And last but not least, we have the newest member to our team here, who right now is just chilling with the experience share. Thickums, our Bulbasaur, with Leap Storm, Sludge, Sleep Powder, and Leech Seed. Now, I know I said that today's episode will probably be primarily just egg hatching. Uh, if we can get through the eggs quick enough, you know, if none of them are genned incorrectly, knock on wood, then uh, we might actually begin to make our way through Tojo Falls and whatnot. But if I remember correctly, oh, we only have five. Never mind. I thought we had like seven eggs. I don't know. Five eggs might not take that long to hatch. Five eggs might not take that long. Oh, we could have had seven, goddammit. But I fucked up that World Islands encounter and didn't catch Lugia. Well, technically, it's not that I didn't catch Lugia, because you can still get Lugia. Is it after you beat the Elite Four, or is it just straight up post game? Like, after you beat the Elite Four rematch. Like, after Kanto. I don't know which one it is. We can check after you beat the Elite Four. Because I know, isn't it when you go and rematch Lugia again, he's like level 70 or 75 or something like that? That would be a powerful ass mod to swap out because after we beat the Elite Four, our, our team should only be like level 60 something, somewhere around there, if that. So to go ahead and slap on a Pokemon that's 10, 15 levels higher than that, that'd be pretty nice. That'd be pretty nice. That This time, that would just Master Ball in that bitch. Fuck the stupid shit. But, anyways, let's go ahead and swap out and get an egg. Let's grab an egg. Let me get a little note real quick. We have a level 44 Gravel. Gravel. Let me go ahead, we're going to jot down level 44, so that when I uh, level them up off screen, I don't forget what's what. So we have level 34, and it's been so long, it feels like it's been so long since we've hatched an egg. Where do we even leave off at? Where's the last double? Where's the last double at? 
We, have, we weren't even doing doubles. What? It's been so long. Box 14. Okay. Box 14 it is. Yo, what? That's one hell of a move set. He had an explosion too and we still caught him. Oh my god. Why is that Graveler so deadly? Then again, look at Graveler. He looks like he's gonna kill you. Anyways, here we go. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Stop. Alright, Graveler, level 44, being swapped out for Praise It, holding a Focus Sash. What could this be? The first thing that comes to mind is that this is gonna be an Omanyte. But let's see what Praise It, holding a Focus Sash, could be. Survey says. I don't understand the nickname, but I'm not against having a holy breath. I don't understand why there's a focus sash on it either, but okay, we're gonna rock out with it. We have praise it, the holy wag. Did it have a space? I don't remember if it had a space or not. I'm gonna put a space because we have space for the space. <laughs> Do we have space for the space? Yes, we have space for the space. Let's see if this holy wag is in fact Jen Crickly. It's jolly natured with damp. Water Pulse, Bubble Beam, Water Sport, and Mud Shot. Let's go ahead and let's see. We have Poliwag. Poliwag, 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 Poliwag. We have Poliwag. And we're gonna triggity scroll down to Gen 4 moveset and see what we're rocking with. Shake it fast! Watch yourself! Shake it fast! Show me what you're working with. We have Water Sport is a level 1 move. Then Bubble Beam can be bred onto it, so we're just looking for Mud Shot and Water Pulse at this point. Mud Shot is good. Water Pulse? I don't think that's legal. I don't think that's legal. I don't think that's legal. And that makes me kind of sad because I actually really like Poliwrath. But I don't think that's legal. Let me see here. Let me check out. Let me check out. I'm gonna I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna double check to see. Water sport? We already said that's level one. Uh Bubble Beam is good. Water. He said water sport. Mud shot's good. Nope. Water pulse is not legal. I checked Bulbapedia and Cerebi because people don't like why I use Bulbapedia because apparently they're wrong. <laughs> but water pulse is not legal. It's a TM that it can learn, but it's not a legal egg move. So unfortunately, the knock on wood actually jinxed us in the end. And <laughs> this polywag is not legal. I'm gonna hold on to him for right now in case. Somebody catches something that I didn't because like I said I just glanced over everything if you guys know some way to make water pulse legal on a pulley wag in gen 4 Then let me know if I don't see anybody say anything then next episode He's gonna be released because we don't have space Actually wait, this is the discard box. Hold on. This is on deck. What's wrong with me? But still we don't have space or that much space in the PC to be harboring illegally gen Pokemon I don't even want to look at this box. I don't even want to look at this box. God damn it. It just makes me sad Makes me so damn sad. But okay, we need another mod to swap out for a little 44 Graveler. So let's try this again. Big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, stop! We have Sabre holding a muscle band. Why does it even sound familiar? Wait, 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 give me that muscle band. Give me that muscle band, though. Is it Sabre or Saber? Sabre or Saber? I wanna say Sabre? Ooh. Nice and Ryalu. See, now I could take that. And I'm sure he don't give a shit. Actually, no, I feel like Lucario would be able to say if he mispronounced his name wrong. Feel the wrath of your world. Alright, so we have Sabre, who is supposed to be level 44. Adamant Nature. Scott. Whoa! That is one hell of a moveset. I am not sure if any of that's legal. I am not sure. So we have Ryalu. We have Sky Uppercut. Sky Uppercut is an egg move. Hmm. 
No, it's not Jan legal. Thunder Punch is a tutor move, not an egg move. Bullet Punch is an egg move, Sky Uppercut is an egg move, Blaze Kick is an egg move, but Thunder Punch is not. And again, I will, I will, I will double check, I will double check, I will double check, I will double check just for you guys. See, I, see, this is why I don't like using Serebii, because the fucking website is so goddamn annoying to use. I, just to me, me personally, I don't care for Serebii's user interface. There's a lot of people that, that say they love it and everything, it's just to me, it's very, like, I have to sit here and, like, focus on what I'm doing. That's why, I, whenever I'm double-checking, like, on the Polywag last time, and now I'm just, like, silent, because I'm, like, trying to process everything. But I'm going to double-check, just to be sure. No, Thunder Punch is a move to the move, not an egg move. So the Ryalu Saber here is not legal either. This is a great start to today's episode. Big money, no way, me, big money, no way, me, big money, no way, stop. The Beast, who's holding a focus sash. The Beast, who is holding a focus sash. This box is so fucking annoying. The Beast. Who is holding a focus sash? No, no, no! I need that focus sash. Let me grab. Let me grab that off you. No, no. Let me grab that off you real quick. So the beast. Who? That is not a revealing nickname by any means. By any means at all. The beast who is holding a focus sash. That is the last Pokemon I would expect to be nicknamed the beast. Nigga, what? Oh, I mean, okay. I I prefer Jazz. I like the nickname Jazz for uh, Swinubs. But you know what? It's all right. We'll, we'll just we'll just we'll, we'll rock out because that's what you named it. So let's see. We have the Beast. I mean, it's a guaranteed mammo if it's legal because it's just ancient power by level up. And I already get well, it gets ancient power already. Never mind. Curse Rock Slide and Icicle Spear. Let's see. Let's see here. Is the swine up legal? These will all look like egg moves. Ancient power is legal. Curse is legal. Icicle spear is legal. And rock slide is legal. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we finally have a legal mon. Say you gotta go. Go on. Cause she's just gonna sit and cry at the door. Go on. No, go out there. Go out there, Sadie. Go. Sadie, go. Do you wanna stay in here, Sadie? Do you really honestly she wants to stay? Okay. She'll stay. Bye, Mo. Bye. Alright. So Sadie's here with us now. <laughs> Come here. You gotta you gotta set up here, yo. Come on, get up here. Now stay. I guarantee you, I'm willing to bet you money that she's gonna cry and wanna leave halfway between this episode. She's just gonna she's gonna nestle. Go ahead and nestle. Nestle yourself. There you go. Good girl. You stay there. So, anyways, <laughs> off the distraction, uh, we do finally have a swine up that's legal. So that's good, that's good. I could jot down the swine up as level 44, so that's pretty much a guaranteed mammal swine. And to be 100% honest, that's really, really awesome. To be 100% honest with you, that's really, really awesome. Because people have been asking us to include the Frost Lads for a while, Lashana the Frost Lads, and I wanted to get another ground type. Now we have both. So I'm going to jot down swine up. This is why I wanted to hatch these eggs today, because I'm thoroughly considering replacing somebody on the team for a mammal swine. Mammal Swine is monstrous, which is why whoever sent in the Beast named it that way. Anyways, our next Pokemon we got to swap out, we have a level 38 Lickitung. I think it'll be faster if we go this way, yes. It's the last goddamn box, so I went all the way around. Alright, so we have a level 38 Lickitung. Let's see what we've got here. Big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, stop! How come it is that this pink-ass Pokemon ends up in this pink-ass box? So we have Lickitung, Simba, holding a lucky egg. 
Let's see what Simba holding a lucky egg could be. Is this going to be another Shinx? Is this going to be yet another Shinx? I wonder if people sent in Shinxes because Luxury is just that popular or because we had Frisco as our starter on Sacred Gold. We have another Shinx! This is like the, what, the fourth or fifth Shinx we've hatched in this playthrough already? Like, my goodness. Simba, it is. Alright then, Simba. Let's see if Simba is legal. Or if Simba's gonna end up in this damn discard box. We have Ice Fang, Thunder Fang. I'm pretty sure that's legal. Without looking it up, I'm pretty sure that's legal. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> pretty sure that's legal gets dropped in the discard box. Okay. Let's see. Do we have Quick Attack on any of these? Just to double check. Yeah, we have Quick Attack here on, on Frisco. So, yeah. Quick Attack is legal. So, that Shinx is good to go. But again, I just looked at two other Shinxes right there. We have four. We've hatched five so far. Because, unfortunately, we lost... Sabriel here. That's probably what I was thinking of earlier when I saw Sab Saber. Fortunately, we lost Sabriel. We have one Shinx there. We have a Luxio here. Another Shinx here. And then another Luxio down here. Like, Nico, what? Is, is, is Luxray really that popular? God damn. I just, news to me. But alright, up next we have a level 38 swine up. And if I'm mistaken, we can restart now. But you know what? I think we're gonna go backwards. Let's work our way backwards now. Let's turn around. So we worked our way from 1 to 15, now we're going to turn around and go 15 to 1. So we need big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, stop. Okay, so it's level 38. Let me jot these down, let me jot these down. Level 38. Level 30, 17, 38. We have a, um, Shinx on the first one. So we just scooped up Samantha. That is the last name I would expect on a Pokemon. But we have Samantha, and what can Samantha be? I see now why you gave it a life orb. <laughs> but still, that's not what I expected at all. I would say, if anything, that's unique. Because, like, who... What? Who was gonna sit down and say, I'm gonna send a Poochina? Most people sat down and say, I'm gonna send Chinxes. Whoever sent in Samantha, the Poochina, was like, yo, I'm gonna be unique. Jolly Nature, Fire Fang, Ice Fang, Thunder Fang, and Sucker Punch. I feel like that's correct. It sounds correct, at least, but we're gonna double check. We're gonna double check because it's not fair that we check everything else but this one mod. Okay, so Ice Fang, Fire Fang, Thunder Fang, and Sucker Punch are all, in fact, legal. So Samantha the Puccina, welcome aboard, welcome aboard. I mean, we have, we have a life orb for you, so it might not be a bad addition to the team. I know Puccina and Mightyena aren't exactly the strongest Pokemons out there, but you know what? We can make that shit work. Ah, 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 make that shit work. Okay, so let me see here, let me see here, let me see here. Up next, we have a level 13, Cart, Cart, Magic, Cart. Level 13 match card. It's impish nature, yo. Fuck your bolt tackle, Pikachu. We eating that up. So this is level 13. We went from level 44 to level 38 to level 38 to level 13. But we have big money, no way, big money, no way, big money, no way. Stop. Level 13 magic card for Adderall. Holding upgrade. I wonder what this could be. Maybe Mr. Twitchy Porygon? Giggity goddamn. Adderall, two D's and two L's, holding an upgrade, two D's, two L's, two D's, two L's, two D's, two L's, uh, why, 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 this is so hard to remember, add er all, two D's and two L's, whatever, look at that, look at that, A D D E R. A L L two L's. There we go. Two D's, two L's. Let's see if Adderall is legal here. Nice and modest nature with trace. Tackle conversion version two. That sounds legal. That sounds legal. If it's not legal, somebody should should catch that for me. I don't really want to look up a Porygon because I feel like that's legal. I'm about 99% sure that's legal. I could have looked it up in the time that I've taken to explain how sure I am that that's legal. <laughs> 
but we're gonna go ahead and plop you down there. And the last mon to swap out for an egg. We have a level 16 magic card. Going into box 13. Big money, no way, big money, no way, big money, no way, big money, no way, we stop. God damn it. Big money, no way, big money, no way, big money, no way, we stop. God damn it. Big money, no way, big money, no way, big money, no way, we stop. God damn it. Big money, no way, big money, no way, big money, no way, we stop. God damn it. Big money, no way, big money, no way, big money, no way, we stop. God damn it. Big money, no way, big money, no way, big money, no way, we stop. Wait, oh, we got an egg. I don't remember what that was. It was it this one up here? I don't remember. It's because I picked it up out of this box. No, it's not. What the fuck? I. What? It's because I placed it down. So this is our actual egg, right? It's this one, right? I'm not, I don't, I'm not 100% sure. It's because I placed it down, so when I picked it up and dropped it again, it just swapped the spot. So it, it appeared as if it was a different egg. I think it was this one, right? Acon or Konoho. I think it was... I think it was this one. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was that one. I'm not as sure on this as I am that Porygon gets tackled conversion and conversion too. <laughs> Okay, let's let's just see what we have here. Let's see what we have here. That was wait, 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 wait. I'm getting things me I'm getting God dude, no! God damn, I'm getting things messed up. Okay, this is a level 16 magic card. I'm not jotting my shit down. We have Porygon. Okay, level 16 magic card. And I need to take this item off of K Kanoha. Kanoha. Give me that. I don't understand the reference, Kanoha, but I can spell it. Level 16 magic card being swapped out for Kanoha, and I hope this was correct. Got another goddamn Bulbasaur! Giggity goddamn! Another goddamn Bulbasaur! Alright, so we have Kanoha with a Bulbasaur. I, I don't understand the reference, I don't get the name, so if there's anybody out there that does catch it, let me know. But we have Bulbasaur here. Who is quiet nature with power whip, giga drain, pedal dance, and sludge? Uh, I think sludge and pedal dance sound correct, but let's check it. Check it out. Okay, so let's see here. We have. Uh, uh, uh! It's not legal. It's not legal. According to a fourth gen moveset, it's not legal. Bulbasaur only gets Giga Drain by TM. Power Whip is legal. Pedal Dance is legal. Sludge is legal. But Giga Drain is not legal. I'm gonna double check it on Cerebi. I will double check it on Cerebi. Just to be sure. I will double check it on Cerebi. Just to be sure. Let's see what you get down here, buddy. Egg moves. Pedal Dance is legal. Power Whip is legal, Sludge is legal, Giga Drain, however, is not. Unfortunately, Kanoha, you will not be joining us today. Which, in all honesty, is is okay. Not because I I, I want to get rid of a Pokemon, but because we already we have a Bulbasaur that we can already use right now. And we don't want to hatch another duplicate, and we don't want to hatch another Shinx all over again. So let's find something else. I'm just gonna go like this. Big money no way, big money no way, big money no way, big money no way, stop. We have Bar- Oh, Barbara holding a moonstone? What could Barbara holding a moonstone be? I think Mo has just influenced this episode. Mo walked in the room, and now all of a sudden, we're hatching Barbara holding a moonstone. If you guys know who Barbara is, Then your guess is correct. And they even hatched it as a Cleffa! Or changed it as a Cleffa. God damn. Whoever did that. Yo, I hope all your egg moves are correct. I'm gonna be so happy if all your egg moves are correct. Bar bar rub. Yo, please tell me this Cleffa is legal. Adamant nature. Oh god, it's gonna have meteor match. Pound amnesia, splash, and wish. I'm gonna double check it. 
I'm gonna double check it. But the reason I say Mo influenced that is because in the UCL, Clefable, Clefable, is a proud member of the Toronto Togekiss. Pound is legal. That is a level one move. Amnesia is a egg move. Splash is an egg move. And Wish is an egg move. Why Splash is an egg move? I will never understand why anybody would ever want to breed Splash onto a Pokemon. But it is legal. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. That's, wow. I'm, I'm actually really happy we took the time today to do this because there are two Mons now that I'm seriously considering swapping our party around for because Barbara is too good to pass up and we have the Beast here who I really, really want to add to the team. I'm thinking maybe we will swap out Hungry. I don't know, that's why it's really, really good. But, I don't know, we get the TM for Earthquake in Victory Road. I just don't know if I want to use Earthquake on hungry right now because then again we can level up the beast and I I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know if he gets it off the, top, off the top of my head by level up but earthquake I'm pretty sure um mammal swine or one of them gets earthquake by level up in their move set so I don't know I don't know I'm considering swapping out the beast I mean hungry for the beast and then I would have to decide whether we want to add Barbara or keep thickums One's a physical attacker, one special. Ah, see, I don't know. We have to keep Thickums because we would have three special attackers then and three physical attackers. We don't really have a physical wall, but I mean, I don't know. I have to check uh, Clefable's stats. I know a lot of people run bulk Fable, but I don't know what it is off the top of my head. I don't know. I've got a lot of different ideas in my head for right now, but let me know what you guys think we should do with our team. And the next episode, we're gonna make our way through Tojo Falls and Victory Road and take on our rival Twit once more. And the episode after that. We begin to take on the Elite Four. So next week is going to be very, very hectic indeed. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode of Storm Silver, again, I apologize it's late. It's just a lot of stuff is going on this weekend with everybody in the house and whatnot. But if you enjoyed, if you're proud of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. But with that, I'm going to get about. So those of you guys that felt like today's episode was kind of bullshiggity because it was just egg hatching, trust me, I'm, I'm, I'm like 50-50 with you there, but it's something that needed to be done. And there are more people that want to see eggs hatched on screen than there are who don't mind them being hatched off screen. So if you if you didn't feel satisfied or content with today's episode, I apologize, but next week we'll get back to the swing of things. Either way, I'm going to get about. Thank you all once again for your support, and thank you for checking out the video. You're the me today, what I need to. I'm out.